In this video, we'll be looking for some advanced date functions. That is date functions part two. What are those functions? I'll show you the here. That is network days, and I have something known as network days dot intl international, and I have something date versus days. Let's see those one by one. Suppose I'm working in a company, and uh, uh, in a company, Saturday Sundays are given off. So how many days in a month in a year I'll be working? So this way I can calculate net working days in a company. So let's see that. I have just written here dates that is start date and end date that is 1 1 2016 and that is 31st or December 2016. Now if I want to calculate what are the net working days in a company so I'll just tell you roughly how it is there are 52 weeks in a year those 52 weeks Saturday Sunday if I say it becomes 104 so I'll just type here 52 weeks and 104 Saturday Sundays. So in a year there are 365 days if I subtract here 104 days equal to 365 minus 104 enter so I'll get 261 days but sometimes uh, it is possible that first date might be on Saturday Sunday or the last date might be on Saturday Sunday. So how do I calculate so I have a function here that is networking days but it was simple because it has 365 days imagine I'm taking some odd difference like uh, June to next July or June to next August kind of so I'll use a function here known as networking days so I'll type here equal to network days tab and if you see here it will ask me for start date comma end date and third parameter is holidays holidays is in square bracket that means it is optional even if you don't use it it's not a problem now I'll use start date as 1 1 2016 end date as 31st of December so I'll select this start date comma select end date and close the bracket so once I close the bracket, I'll get the answer as 261. So if you change any dates, still you'll get the answer. That is net working days. That is excluding Saturday Sundays. Now what if I have some holidays? Let's see on the right hand side, I've written some holidays. 15th August 2016 in India, there's an Independence Day. So we have a leave. 2nd of, uh, you can say October 2016, there's a Gandhi Jayanti. So I have two leaves given in my company. So what if I want to include the holidays, I'll use a function same networking days equal to network days and I'll select the same start date comma end date comma and I won't write this number two because these are two holidays which is uh, these are two Independence Day and Gandhi Jayanti. I'll not write here number two. The reason is maybe either of them might fall on Saturday Sunday. Okay, so I will leave up to Excel to calculate, but how do I include into this place? So what I'll do is I'll include this both into my function. So this automatically will calculate which is Saturday Sunday and it will give me the answer. So once I press enter, if you see it says as 260. So it means either of them falls on the weekends that is either Saturday or Sunday. So that is the reason I've included both the cells into that function. Next one I have. In my country, it's Saturday, Sunday, the week off. But what if in some other countries, the number of days are, let's say some people have Monday off, Tuesday off or Saturday, Sunday, kind of anything. So what I'll do is I'll type a function for international holidays also. So what is that function? It is also known as network days international. So I'll type here equal to network days dot intl. And same way, I'll select start date, comma, end date, comma, once I press comma, the weekend, the third parameter, it will give me all the dates, like weekends. So whichever weekend you want, you can select. First one, it says Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'll select the fourth one, Tuesday, Wednesday, and press tab, comma, and holidays as it is, I'll select both of them like this and press enter. So according to international holidays, how many working days are in there? In 2016, they are same, 2260 working days. So this way we can calculate the difference between dates and how we can get net working days in a company. Next we have that is date versus days. Now I'll just give you a small scenario. In a company if I have some date kind of this one. Yeah. So I have this kind of date and what if I have I want days in the next column that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of. So how do I get in the next column? So it's very simple. I'll just type equal to and copy the cell on the left hand side and press enter. So but there's no difference. I've got the same date. Now what I, my requirement is I want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So what I'll do is I'll change the format of this cell. How do I change the format is I'll just select the cell and I can just right click here and click on this format cells dialog format cells. 
So once I click on this format cells, in the date, I'll try to find my format that is Monday, Tuesday, but it's just not available. So what I need to do is I need to customize my own format. So I'll go in the custom, in the custom, if you see, it is shown as 1407 2016 and this is the format. So I'll delete this format and I'll type my own format. The format would be, let's say D. If I type D, it's saying as 14. Again D, it says 14. Again one more D, it says Thursday, T-H-U. Again one more D, it says entire Thursday. So, and if I put comma, M, 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 so it says July. So it, you can keep on formatting, you can make your own formats. So right now I'll just delete everything. I just want Thursday. So in the custom, I have typed here the format that is double D, double D, and I'll press enter. So once I press enter, you can see the format is given here. Now if I drag down this, if I drag down at the bottom, you can see I've got all the days in front of the days. That is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the options. So this way you can find out how to calculate, how to find out date versus days. This is the method by which you can do. So I hope you have understood this network days, INTL and network days. So that's all for this video.